Empire Janet Museveni. Swear. In 2006, Janet Kataha Museveni became the first sitting first lady to join elective politics in East Africa. She was elected to represent the Hama constituency in Tungamo district following a landslide victory of opposition FDC's Augustin Ruzindana, who was the incumbent. But her critics said the constituency was turned into some sort of fortress with a heavy military presence. Earlier, while announcing her political intentions in November 2005, the First Lady is quoted as having said that, God has sent me to do this, and when God sends me, I must obey. And obey she did. But critics say this was the beginning of what would be a rough ride for the First Lady. The involvement of the First Lady in elective politics has dragged her along the mud uh, of our country's politics. And in many ways, um, obliterated her role as a First Lady. One such incident was in March 2013 when the Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee summoned the First Lady to explain her alleged involvement in misappropriation of 30 billion shillings from the office of the Prime Minister. She was accused of unnecessary travel to Israel, but the committee cleared her of any wrongdoing. She cut a silent figure in Parliament, rarely making contributions on the floor. But her role as State Minister and later Cabinet Minister for Karamoja cast the region into the limelight and also gave the office more clout. Two ministerial nominees had previously declined to take up the job. Most people in this country, most politicians, uh, normally wait until they are either thrown out and in some cases actually disgraced. So I, I really would want to commend the First Lady uh, you know, for taking that decision. Janet Museveni is 67 years old, but it was clear she would comfortably retain the Ruhama seat the third time. So why is she not seeking re-election? The posturing, the body posturing of the First Lady, uh, the way she, she's been conducting herself, uh, points to a certain satire for, 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 for the high office. Um, and I think that it is not far-fetched to imagine that she might take a shot uh, at, at, at the presidency of this country. The speculative talk that she could be preparing for another political office is really misplaced. But even if she was to stay in the same position, what would stop her at, at, at some point in the future to, to go for another position? If it doesn't add up. As a mother, grandmother, wife, MP and minister, the First Lady has no doubt had a full plate in her 10 years of politics. Minister for Presidency Frank Tumwewaze hailed the First Lady's decision to leave after two terms in Parliament. One clear political lesson that everybody should learn from that decision of Mama Janet is that leaders should serve with a purpose. It clearly tells you that her decision is not pressured by any factors. She's not playing to the gallery. It's a personal decision she's taken out of her conscience. Like she did when joining politics, the First Lady said in a statement, and I quote, Therefore, I now have no doubt at all in my mind that this is what God intended for me in this season, that in the coming elections of 2016, I will not offer myself as a candidate for that Hama constituency parliamentary seat. Her decision drew mixed feelings across the constituency. Now the First Lady has quit politics in her home, and she's going away. But we feel she has not done much, especially... When, when it comes to uh, uh, heresy matters. But Ms. Museveni's pronouncement was silent on whether she had quit politics altogether or just the parliamentary seat. Will she, for instance, remain a minister or will her husband, President Museveni, drop her from cabinet? When Janet Museveni decided to join politics, debate raged on on whether she would succeed her husband. Under the constitution, she qualifies to stand for presidency. But will she now completely bow out of politics or continue to exert influence behind the scenes? Chilandhuchure, NTV, Kampala.